Well, hello everyone and welcome back once again. As always, I appreciate you being here. So we got a beautiful morning here, uh, 63 degrees currently, and I don't think it's supposed to make it out of the 70s today. So it is exciting to get outside. It's been another busy week here with sports, but uh, got a phone call in the middle of the week here. Uh, our uh, restaurant customer that Evan supplies is ready for some more oak so as you all that have been following along with the channel know that we cut oak and we stage it here in big rounds because this customer wants it unseasoned and green that's what his smoker calls for so we got a little split in the do today to fulfill an order for him and uh evan sold some bundles last night uh we had uh the home football game here in town and uh he got wiped out on bundles in the firewood stand and it's been a while since he's made any so uh he needs to make up some bundles i'll just show you his little bundle bin here that was full this week so we're gonna make some bundles and split some wood thought we'd take y'all along so stick with us and we're gonna get something done here all right everybody so first thing we're gonna do is make some bundles well i say Evan is going to make some bundles. <laughs> I'm just going to watch. So, for those of y'all that have been with the channel a while, know that we had a bad experience with the bags for the first time. And I'm sorry about this noise. We have a uh, bike marathon going on past our house here today. It happens once a year, and there'll be five, six hundred uh bicyclists go by here so you're gonna hear some background noise all right so back to it uh these are the bundles that uh when we tried the two new locations on the roadside sand uh it was kind of hard to catch on didn't do a lot of sales if any and uh those bags set in the direct sun you all know that story that have watched they just totally disintegrated so first thing Evan's going to do is we just made a pile of those and he's going to set up and rebundle those, unfortunately, uh, but that's how it goes. And uh, made a video a while back. You can go back and check it out. I won't go through this again, but this is Evan's bundler that he made in welding class. And uh, there was kind of an issue with that. I think a lot of people thought that Chris at Wolf Ridge ripped Evan's idea off. And it was just totally the opposite. Uh, I kind of sent Chris at Wolf Ridge a message. Uh, you know what? My son was in welding class. I showed him the bundler that Chris came up with. And he took the challenge and said, Dad, I think I can make that. So won't go any more into that. But for those of you new here, this is not a Wolf Ridge bundler. This is an Evan and welding class bundler. So I'm pretty proud of the job he did on that. So show you making a couple here and then we'll probably put it in time lapse and uh finish up on it so here we go
All right, so he's got two done already, and he's using a mixture of, there's a little oak in there, a little cherry, some maple, and some walnut that I'm seeing so far. So it gives the customer a very good mixture of uh, some of the oak, give a little bit of heat around the campfire. And of course the maple, uh, great for flames, the cherry and walnut also flames pretty good and uh, the cherry gives off a great smell so we like to mix it like that so let's speed this up now and get these done and get on to some splitting finishing up the last couple bundles here everybody but I don't know if you can see in the background in time-lapse there of all the bicycles going by but uh, great advertising for the firewood stand up by the road here we're hearing a lot of them talk about the firewood when they go by so they're probably all people from surrounding towns so this is gonna work out great for us today are great for Evan. <laughs> I'm the unpaid employee here. Hey Evan, when's that uh, when's that table plan gonna start getting set up for me? Um, whenever I go to college and can't do it anymore. <laughs> I see. So then I can make the money and send you money at college, right? Yeah. <laughs>
so I thought I'd jump on here with a real quick voiceover as we are breaking these rounds down and explain to you why we're doing it the way we are. Uh, this is, like I said before, for the restaurant customer and he likes his splits to be barkless. So as you can see, Evan is knocking these rounds in half and then we're working each half down into flats. And with the single wedge, you can really control the size of your pieces. And as he's doing it, you've seen he took that one down into a flat. And right here, he's uh, taking the bark right off the outside edge. And after this oak sets for a while, a month or so in the sun, that bark comes off pretty easy. So, although it may appear we're handling this wood a lot more we are a little bit more but we're winding up with some very nice looking barkless splits and for that reason the customer is paying a premium price and he is okay with that taking the bark off the left side of that again and every now and then if we get a little bit thicker piece with it, quite a bit of wood on it the bark doesn't pop off that's not going to waste. We are putting that in the bulk firewood or in his bundle wood. So it's all getting used up. Very nice looking pieces of barkless oak here. everybody that's the first splitting session there we think we may have enough and uh look at these beautiful pieces of red oak so we're going to get this measured out up there see if we've got enough and just to show you here if you let that oak set after you cut it two or three weeks up to a month out in the sun as you see in evan splitting that bark just pops right off the edge. Sometimes you get a little shaving of wood with it 
like this one came off with it but that's okay there's very little waste there we're gonna burn all that slash in our fire pit have fun with that so there you go we're gonna get this stacked see what we got we'll be back with you shortly there's the order Evan is going to be taken shortly here to the restaurant customer. He'll be a happy guy. Some beautiful, like I always say, beautiful red oak. Nothing better than splitting red oak. So, all right, everybody, that's probably going to do it for this video today. We got our jobs done here this morning, and Evan is getting ready to uh, take off, go deliver that firewood. But I want to show you guys something real quick here that we saved when we were doing this. When we're cutting next door, we get a lot of questions why we're cutting those stumps so high and high stumping. And as you've seen in the beginning of this video, you've seen the purple color. We found that was probably three rounds high on that stump. Nails and wire all over in that wood and we we're splitting it now we're not going to give that to the restaurant customer i'm not sure it would hurt anything but you could see this wire sticking out um but i don't want that getting in his smoker so thought we'd show you all that for those that keep asking us why we high stump uh that's the reason right there we just saved a chainsaw blade and we tried to i, I remember when we were cutting that when you were cutting it he tried to kind of just get right in between where we seen little holes in the tree and when we took that stump down i remember in that video pointing to the purple color but uh this was right above this would have been the first round off of that stump yep. and we probably left waist high on that stump a good three three feet or so yep. of stump sitting there so everybody we appreciate you being here today to all the new uh subscribers out there welcome aboard i'm glad you're here and um i'm just gonna throw this out there real quick to keep me uh keep me loyal i'm gonna be at paul bunyan i hope to see a lot of you there put some faces with names evan will not be able to make the trip he's actually going to be going and doing a college tour that weekend with another friend of his and their family so uh unfortunately he will not be there but i will be there and i look forward to seeing y'all so Everybody, we're going to sign off for now, and until next time, like I always have to say, get outside. See ya.